Yes, my dear students, now we are discussing the biodegradable polymers. This can be asked because now the time I think come on the biodegradable things. So first is that PHBB, that is the co-beta-hydroxy valid. It's commonly known as PHBB and its monomers are 3 hydroxy butanoic acid and 3 hydroxy pentanoic acids. So first 3 hydroxy butanoic acid. Then you see that its bonding is how it's going on its bonding. This is now 3 hydroxy pentanoic acid. 3 hydroxy pentanoic acid. You take care that how the bonding is going on. Bonding is going on. This is come state O. Wherever this second hydroxy group is coming, in that we have to take the term. And this oxygen will act in this way. And C, CH2, and then C, double bond O, and this O will come and attach with that carbon atom where this is coming. Now you will turn that, I have turned, made here CH2, CH3, add this one with the removal of water molecule and we are taking this is the PHB my dear student which are slow learner which are not understanding this is CH3 CH2 I make the bonding with this third carbon where OH is present next this ethyl group I turn downstairs or uh, down formula here and you are watching my bond is coming with this OH and the same with uh, this OH uh, from this the methyl group that is coming downside and making bond 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and this OH and this H will release the water and bond is coming between the carbon, oxygen, and carbon. This is the bonding sites. You can see clearly now. This is the PHBV. Can be asked. PHB undergoes bacterial degradation in the environment and is used in specially packing orthopedic devices. Yes, you can ask what is the use of PHBB. It is used in orthopedic devices. Orthopedician or orthopedic devices. and in control release of drugs and in control release of drugs control release of drugs now the second one is that yes my dear student second biodegradable polymer is nylon 2 nylon 6 its name is that and its monomer are glycine and caprolactone. Glycine, you are remembering that we have done in the biomolecule chapter neutral amino acid CH2, NH2, and CWH. And caprolactone, you have learned the formula NH2, CH2, 5, and CWH. This is what the caprolactone. Lectum and it is a biodegradable, and you must learn and then revise all the polymers. One question is coming whenever you are learning these polymers, you learn in this way. Suppose that you have learned the units monomers of nylon 2, nylon 6. With the same time, you must learn the monomers of nylon 6, 6. With the same time, you learn the monomers of nylon 6. So it will easy. Nylon 6 monomer is what? Caprolactone. And nylon 6 6 monomer is what? Uh, that is the hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid. I told you number of times earlier. Adipic acids. You, you, these three you learn in this way. It is easy to make command and they are one one use. And whereas nylon 2, nylon 6 is the part that is biodegradable. Then you learn buna N and buna S in this way. 
so easy to learn and grasp then you learn natural rubber natural rubber is made up of the isoprene and isoprene is made up of the 2 methyl 13 butadiene everybody knows that 2 methyl 13 butadiene where is the synthetic rubber synthetic rubber is made up of the neoprene and neoprene's monomer is what chloroprene and chloroprene is made up of the 2 chloro 13 butadiene when we make the command in this way it is easy to learn and grasp the things whereas nylon 66 is made up of the hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid nylon 6 is made up of the caprolactam and nylon 2 nylon 6 their monomers are glycine and caprolactam in three differences nylons bunas bunan and natural rubber and synthetic rubber definitely one will come in the exams and then with this you learn that uh, first chapter uh, the chapter we are learning that is the elastomers and fiber my dear student you learn this chapter in this one elastomer fiber difference then you learn thermoplastic and thermosetting thermoplastic and thermosetting difference when you make command on the differences nobody can make you stop in thermoplastic and thermosetting difference will come in the exam elastomers and fiber may can come in the class in the exams and monomers of each and every uh like if you make command on the chapter very well my dear students here some polymers i have written here and you have write down their monomers and use then the chapter will be in your grip or neoprene isoprene their uses also and uh, nylon 2 nylon 6 also we learn their monomers too and the chapter will be new come on thank you very much we will meet in the next chapter that is chemistry in every life